Yes, sir. Morning. Welcome back to the vlogs. I'm off to the birthplace, some say, of the modern bicycle. Yeah, you guessed it, Coventry. Where in the late 1800s, there were over 450 bicycle manufacturers based in Coventry. And the grandfather, James Starley, inventing the famous penny farthing. And then his, his relative, I think it was his cousin, who invented the actual safety bike, the classic diamond shape. John, can't remember his surname, but I'm going to Coventry. I'm not taking the bicycle all the way to Coventry. I'm getting the train. Which, what time is your train? Uh, sorry, 9.40. Go straight along at the back, there's a ticket office. They'll help to help you on the train reservations. Yes, I do. Do you want to see it? Please. You're going to Coventry? Yes, please. Okay, right down the front, yeah? Coach right down the front. Yes. Right. Where are you going? I'm going to Coventry. It's funny. So the train attendant, station attendant said to me as I came down the platform, where are you going? And I, I took it as a bit harsh, but it wasn't being harsh. He wanted to know uh, where I was going. So they hit at Coventry, they make sure someone would let me off the train. And when the train continues on to wherever it's going, my bike wouldn't get lost, left on the train. But I was kind of flippant, like, where are you going? You know, I was a bit rude. And that was wrong, that was off key. And um, yeah, I apologized, I shook his hand. And um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thank you for coming. Come on, come on, get some flight and stay here. Stay here, someone will come. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You sure they'll come, yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Where are you going? Coventry, please. Coventry. Coventry. Oh, no. Thank you. You won't, you, won't, you won't keep my bicycle. Oh, you let me off, yeah? Well, we're first stop, Cobb. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. If I forget, bang on the window. Bang on the window. I'm pulling out. Like a madman. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Are you a writer? Yes, I write poetry. Yeah. Oh, what writes poetry? Oh, look at that. Look yeah. at that. That's a nice. Just poetry. What's your name? Adisa. 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 I work my, at school. My yeah. mate, my best friend, Casey Bailey, was a Birmingham poet literate. Right. You opened the Commonwealth Games. Wow. Yeah, yes, grew, yes, I'm aware of that. We, yeah. We grew up together. We went to school together. Um, but my wife is a poet as well. Yeah, she she done a she does a lot of poetry poems and for money she she does so many like great poems. But yes. I think I don't appreciate as much where she talks really about Yes. She tries to get the kids yeah. really educated into English writing and yes. literature, get them all to read books. <laughs> <laughs> That's Very your nice crazy. Yeah. yeah, pleasure. Thank you. So I finished my workshop at the secondary school and uh, 
I've decided to visit the Transport Museum. Why? Because inside the Transport Museum, there's a bicycle museum. This is Coventry, the home, the birthplace of the bicycle. Quite a big building. I like this kind of bridge installation type feature. It reminds me of something that Spider Man would slide down, some other Marvel superhero. Let's go inside. Hello there. Um, I'd like to look around the, particularly the bicycle exhibition really. Yeah, uh, is, it, is it one prize for the whole thing? Or it is, yeah. So all our bicycles are sort of interdispersed throughout the museum. I see. So all over the place. Yeah. And what's the price? 15 50 for adults. 15.50. That's quite expensive. Okay, can... But again, it is for the whole year. Yes, yeah, oh, that is true. That is true. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. So the hobby horse <laughs> can reach speeds of around eight miles per hour. That's pretty fast considering it's got no chain. It had no brakes, so riding down hills can be very dangerous. <laughs> Sounds like fun. The hobby horse. Good padding on that seat. Those wheels with no tires, just uh, metal, It'd be rather uncomfortable. I bet that's not made of carbon. For 1895, more than 30 factories in Coventry turned them out. It was the city's biggest industry. Coventry was the cycle capital of the world. I like this, I like the wood. So it looks better than the, um, the hobby horse over there. Ah, the bone shaker. I remember learning that at school. 1868, Velocipede, or bone shaker. Great name, bone shaker. That's a kenning, isn't it? Bone shaker, two words describing something like that. It's a kenning technique. On the front wheel, still no chain, still not propelled by a cassette at the back but we've got pedals still using metal and a very uncomfortable seat what happened to the padding from the first one the hobby horse let's go back to the hobby horse lost the padding it is fascinating looking at the history of these bicycles I mean I, I would have if I'd, if I'd have lived in these times I would have ridden one of these bikes well maybe I would have done because you had to be bloody wealthy to ride them they were for the rich and the elite they weren't for um, the working classes. They weren't for the masses at all. This was not a mass sport. This was for the elite. The aerial was the first penny farthing bicycle made in Coventry. It was invented by James Starley and William Hillman. William Hillman of Wilt Hillman Cars. And it's interesting because it was a, a lady's bicycle. In the 1920s, a bicycle like this would have cost Three pounds and fifteen shillings. Cars are nice, but not today. Now, I'm about to show you my era. My dad used to ride bikes like this, so that, that, that takes me back a little bit. One chain ring, drain at the back. Those lights, I used to have lights like that. My dad used to have lights like that, with big old batteries in there. ever ready batteries in there. I remember those lights. The pump, classic pump, attached to the frame, classic, Brooks saddle. Let me take you to my era, where it all began, my love affair began. If you were lucky, you had one of these. That was the sought after machine. Just love the gear control. You felt like you're riding a motorbike in the hot gears. The seat was so cool because you give your give your friend a, a ride on the back. That was my
of that is an old set of rollers. Do you like that biddy on? Look at that helmet. Just a leather helmet. So here we have a, a timeline really. We go from the ancient, the, the beginning, to the modern. You see the classic diamond-shaped bike, penny farthing, safety bicycle. And it moves. Mountain bike. Racer. I think that's basically it. Very good, just need more time to really explore it. But fascinating how it developed the bicycle. From these metal wheels to rubber. And how it developed from sewing machinists, sewing industry, tailor, tailoring, singer company into making bicycles and then eventually into cars. So what does the future hold for bicycles? Let's see, or is it just cars?